careful because they may not get here again. <laughs> we uh, got an offer for Peter Paisley for 1.9 million from Liverpool. I was in Portugal on holiday. I've got a week or two off, right? I get a phone call from the chairman. No names, no pack drill. Work about you as the chairman at the time. And uh, he says, uh, Liverpool have made an offer. And I said, are you going to accept it? We're thinking about it. I said, do not do anything until I come back. Now, I didn't think it was that important. But they didn't do it until I come back. So they gave me an opportunity to talk to the boy. Now, he could play. He could play. Chris Waddle could play. Right? Didn't want to worry. I had a meeting with him, right? Try to stop it. But I think it was one of the most unkept secrets in this area at the time that Liverpool were going to get Peter Paisley. It was a million pound up front, 900,000 over the next 12 months, right? I hope I'm not going too far, and I hope there's no press in the table, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> You'll get the pain. <laughs> so, I got £425,000 to spend, and I bought a little Brazilian who I thought would excite three people. Very genius. Right? Not too sure. Maybe not the right decision, maybe immature as a manager, but I thought we're losing a bit of excitement on the field. I want that back. I wanted a football team that you people could come and watch. The The guys going to situation is a little bit different, but again on holiday, it always happens when I leave home. But they did hold back on it, and I came back and I talked to Gaza, but it was done and dusted. I talked to some of the boys today about people involved from London, etc., etc. And we were not far away from keeping them, but they offered bit more. Okay? But what I try to tell Gaza that that little bit extra in London, right? Would go a lot shorter away than a bit extra up here. But it happened. It happened. And before he left, wait tell this story. You alright? 